total group of about seven people. And so every time you're posting, only think about those seven people. You know, that way you can make it really authentic, and you're not trying to broadcast everything to a, a bunch of people, because you'll inevitably be disappointed, and they'll be disappointed too, because they're not going to feel the personal connection in what you're doing. Instead, if you're thinking about your best friend when you put this post up, then whoever reads it will feel like someone was thinking about them as their best friend, which is a way, way, way better strategy, uh, in my opinion. Um, kind of. You can repost Instagram posts. Um, yeah, so you, you can show something that I reposted. So I, I do a lot of poems, poems on Instagram now, so I do mine. Um, and I do a lot of just quick free writing stuff. Um, really cool. I also do a lot of video. Um, and. I, I think everyone's strategy is different. So that whole thing about doing it one week where you do, I think that'd be really cool. Who's gonna, who's gonna jump in that movie? One week challenge where you take one picture, then you put some text in, we got one person. Sweet, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, 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 seven. I'm happy. If we can get 10, do we have 10? 10? Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, 10, okay. That's really cool. I think that's a very cool. If you find me on Instagram, um, like maybe you can uh, like comment on like make my most recent post. I know this sounds like I'm just trying to get comments, sort of. But also, it's an effective way of communicating. If you comment on like uh, like one of the most recent posts, that way I can see your your six posts. And I don't know. You can check it out. That'll be fun for me. Uh, first How do you get to your Instagram? Uh, it's, it's or I can go back to the slide. Can you describe a client or a person who started an Instagram account recently and really took off and had, and had it take off really fast? And what did they do to have it grow? Take off really fast. So there's like that idea in itself is like, you know, winning a lottery, right? Like, it's really cool. I would also have to win the lottery. But um, it's, I think it's really cool to think about Instagram more of like you would like your cell phone like text messaging, right? Like you don't get to a point when you like with your text messages that all of a sudden you're texting fifty thousand people usually, unless something really weird happens. It's an anomaly, right? But it's not natural. It's like literally like a supernatural thing. Not supernatural, but it's it's abnormal if that happens. What your engagement is really gonna be on Instagram is you're gonna slowly meet people. So whatever your rate of meeting people is, is uh, you're gonna be able to have Instagram as like your little container for you're going to be able to continue talking to these people who respect you regularly and continue them on this story. Because even though I met you today, I don't know anything about you, right? But if I get to follow your account, it might take me a year to, for me to get to that point where I connect with you so much that I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm in it. But I was following it, and you continued to tell me the story. You know, so if you meet like five people a day, I mean five people a week, and you get one of those people to be somewhat interested, they follow you your account, maybe every month you have five more people who are more interested and they're really following your story and they're in the engine with you. So, so it's a slow, like branding is a slow game, but I think the, all the ideas of success and celebrity kind of cloud, what's really cool 